Hi, Bob Green here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Again, you can see the strong demarcation down the bottom there between what looks like normal brass and what is almost certainly some type of copper oxide structures. Interesting to see what these kind of glassy like looking material is. This looks like it's a uh, maybe got some silicon in there or something. Very glassy. Get a better angle at that. Seems the tail end of a channel. Imagine that if there is going to be transmutations, there would be on boundary areas where you're not getting exactly the same effect, bulk effect. Definitely, this looks more interesting than some other areas. So what you're going to see here is kind of like a, a floodplain. Um, it's these little rivulets, these kind of, I don't know if you've ever seen one of those gold mining programs where you have like the mother load, which we're looking at here, which is up in the mountain. And then as the plasmoids, these coherent matter has traveled out, it's formed all these little micro channels that are bored into the plate. And they're kind of like fanning out dancing around and so on and actually if you go over this area it's, it's quite extensive this area very nice very nice to look at it and over here you can imagine that these ones where there's some separation it might have been that they they bounced between the upper plate and this plate and uh, produced uh, these channels or came in from the side there you can see now if we zoom into this, you'll see, very interesting, very interesting. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Look at that. So I'd be very interested to see if there's any unusual or unexpected elements in these plasmoid, potentially coherent matter tracks that we're seeing here. Look at that. Sometimes it looks very copper-like, sometimes it's very brassy. Overview of the channels there. See if we can move around in it. And again, from the sort of left hand side, kind of bleeding down. As you get closer, it doesn't have the colours to it quite and it, it might be that in some areas it's getting to the point of oxidation potentially or mm, it's melting certain components of the brass so as it gets beyond a certain point the energy level is either higher or lower probably lower and then it does something different which gives the different colours. Like little rivulets. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at it meandering around over there. Let's have a look in the closer that. Quite beautiful. That is a plasmoid track, if ever I've seen one. <laughs> this is this outer area. It's lovely, look at that. Spiraling around. look into this. See where it kind of died there at the end. Let's see if we've got anything similar right the way on the other side and go across the main channel there. It just doesn't seem to be there. It's kind of like it's almost like on one side it was ejecting these things and on the other it just wasn't.
Which one you got? Very brassy colour there. It's very green here. So this is the same kind of area but on the dino light microscope. And I'm just gonna go through this and we change the focal depth. So you can see we're coming down onto the flat area here. We're out of a groove. And we're going out onto the floodplain area. And you can see that there are these tracks that are fanning out here we go fanning out meandering all over the place and changing color as they go you can imagine one's just hopped up and popped in there so if I go up a bit maybe we come back so you see different microscopes give you a very different impression of what's going on and that's why you need to look with different techniques so actually it's interesting because you have this big channel here, but then you have a little subplasmoid that came over and joined up over here. A little one's coming out. A little one that comes out here. Man meandering around. Almost looks like, as I said earlier, kind of glacial floodplain type features. Go back here, change the polarization on here. Sometimes it's good to have one type of polarization and not another. If I go full flat, you can see it's not ideal. Somewhere around there is good. Very, very interesting. Over here, you change the polarization, it picks it out differently. So I have a lots of speck, you don't really see so much quite so clear. You see the edge balling effect. I come up, there you go. <laughs> Love it. It's all coming from the main channel. up here the mother load that's it we're over to the other side <laughs> so thank you very much for your time uh, what
isolated structure there. And we'll see that with a change in the polarization, see. Thank you.